There is no substitute for hard work. Marinating on some insight, which should be obvious. I know that uh, at times my approach could be much friendlier, warmer, and fuzzier, and stupid as uh, sensitive words like that. But as I reflect back on life, Not just my life, but interactions that I've seen with uh, other people. Whether it's the teacher and the pupil, the mother and the child, the father and the child. <laughs> and uh, avoiding the advice that, sh that should be given like a uh, brace for impact not so dramatic, not so bad but something like that because as I as I age as I accept that this is a, a world of capitalism It's words like that. Uh, there's no substitute like hard work that make me think or say true. But uh, there are people that uh, won't feed off of that or want to give you misinformation about that. teachers to the parents but even on on YouTube ads where I see uh, learn how to um, make 500 a thousand in a week all from your home and one person and I let the ads run I'll go take a piss or something sharpen my pencils and let the ad run or um, check the interwebs let the channel I'm watching get paid and let that uh, information just turn to bullshit. But uh, one motherfucker was saying how um, all you need to do is put a, a list price for a sewing machine for I think, 20 or 30 dollars and buy them from somewhere else for cheap and just deliver. And I thought you know, Amazon, eBay, uh, doing a few clicks. You'll, you'll be able to purchase the thing that they want, maybe even cheaper used. But people just want to make a buck based off someone else's um, bad decision or poor choice. and. Yeah, I'm not down with that, man. <clears throat> I th think I'm a friend, a mentor, an, an example of an example of excellence who, who gets after it, man. Hard-working motherfucker. 
and hard work, you motherfucker, man. I, if he was a tattooer or an artist like I, like I am, yeah, I would uh, probably tremble, tremble in my boots. If I knew that I was competing against him, because this fucker is. almost like a machine just that uh, gets after it. And some people uh, want to uh, break it down and ask him for a secret recipe when it's really just uh, um, hard work. There's no substitute for it. That's it. like uh, this piece here that I'm working on. You know, it's not going to get finished unless I add this stroke and this one and this one and this one and this one. Share more words to um, break down that insight. Except by showing you better than I could tell you. I can appreciate a bodybuilder when they sculpt the physique um, increase the bicep size um, add uh, an inch to their thighs to the calves being in proportion, uh, eating clean and doing the cardio to, um, to sculpt it that that way. I've seen uh, documentaries where there are people that actually get uh, implants on their chest and other parts and other parts of their body to make it appear as if they work out. I think for that sort of money, you could just uh, pay a trainer and uh, lift uh, regularly, lightly, and just uh, get stronger that way. And people look fucked up, man, in some of these uh, surgeries. <clears throat>
think uh, some of these asses look funny to uh, for women that instead of doing squats, they literally uh, inject. Uh, is it rubber cement? Some sort of cement directly into their ass and uh, makes their body fall apart, man. People that save up and buy a home, awesome. People will save up and buy a vehicle, cash, awesome. People that make it happen, awesome. I, I never, I never, I, not I never, um, it took me years of searching for answers that were, that eventually were, were obvious, which is, uh, nothing pays off like hard work, but. Had I seen what I thought was magic, the magic behind the curtain, sooner. Building a gorgeous body. Apprenticing, starting off as a little tadpole in, in a career and field and traveling and exploring and creating a just a relationships in life and so much as possible and and again I'm thinking of a commercial that I saw on television um, a granddaughter I mentioned this before. A granddaughter is being asked by grandma, are you still going to come and visit me while, while you're in college? And the granddaughter says, uh, Grandma, I'm only 15 minutes away. Um, of course I am. And I think, uh, and Tom Lagos speaks about this too, where they're, especially women, are uh, dream killers. People will tell you, no man, why do you work out so much, man? Don't you want to go out and drink with us if you're trying to build a better body? Why do you spend so much time at the library or bookstore researching? And you could be partying with us when you're trying to learn a new trade because let's say you can't afford school. Because you have random nights out from work. And all you can do is uh, self-teach, self-learn. Teach yourself. Oh man, why, why are you so stingy with your money, man? Don't you know that life is short and you should just um, spend it all at Magic Mountain, Vegas, Disneyland, um, partying, 420. You know, for someone who uh, wants to buy 
a newer car, a car, who's uh, tired of uh, taking the bus or riding the bicycle or walking to work or to school. And again, I've seen it throughout just many places, man. Uh, don't you love me? Don't you like hang, hanging out with us? Don't you? Don't I mean something to you? Don't we mean something to you? What's all that for? And because you think, or because you believe uh, that there are well intentions behind those sort of comments, you think, yeah, you know what? That's that's true. That's right. You know. If these guys, or these girls, or she, or he, Zimzer, are my friends, my buddies, my significant other, my honey, my uh, BFF, someone that I love, someone that I care for, number one, or priority, or, or the relationship just means something overall. You know, why, why, aren't you, why don't you stop what you're doing? Why don't you uh, focus on me, focus on us, uh, not change, not grow, not leave? And, uh, or, or you can't do it, it's impossible. Who are you? And uh, shit happens, man. Before you know it, um, even before you know it, or you realize when it's already too late that uh, by then your dream, your gravy train, your opportunity has come and gone, and uh, it's it's still going forward. Um, if you don't follow your dreams, don't worry. Someone else will come up with. Um, amazing art, an amazing um, painting, an amazing sculpture, an amazing comic book, an amazing um, app, um, great design for a building, a new uh, recipe better than KFC. And before you know it, that person will mean shit to you. I used to think that certain people from my past are like, yeah, you know what, their relationship or me knowing them, it's important, it's of value, and no, no, man. There's just a handful of people, and, and most of them are United States Marines that, uh, that I shit only really give a shit about. And I know people will say, no, well, I care about you. I care about you too, and... It's a trip, man. to make another video called um, um, So What If You Don't Have a Social Life or I Don't Have a Social Life. Because people will tell you, you know, what I just said, you know, well, what about your social life? Or what about us? And um, no, man, I don't dig it, man. I'm not buying it.
and uh, man, I, there, there was a point in my life where if I wouldn't have had walked away from a certain relationship from a relationship that I thought meant the universe to me but I knew that it was poisoning me that it was bad for me not genuine hurtful um, invalid but I knew that if I walked away that I could uh, be detached from its claws of poison and I could have believed you know what I'll never get over this I'll never find somebody else like that um, this is love. Uh, this means a lot. Well, uh, maybe I should change my values and priorities. No. But... But if I would have uh, taken the blue pill instead of the red pill, I'm thinking, I'm guessing here. Very likely, I'd uh, be guessing. You probably would meet me at a gym somewhere. I'd probably be selling you a membership. Yeah, man, well, today it's 1995 a month. And you know, uh, you get a uh, membership at this place and that place. And you know, um, I, I would have been signing off at the bottom somewhere. And, and nothing wrong with signing off at the bottom. I think uh, that very likely I would be doing something that uh, on my lunch break I probably would uh, get my tuna sandwich, take a bite, and uh, wonder, you know, what if I would have uh, made a, made another choice in life? What if I would have gone this way? What if I would have said yes? What if I would have taken the, the comfortable route, the lovely route? I've seen people that that hate life that are that are better off dead I'll say that yeah I believe that uh, no doubt that I wake up and think all right I gotta get this and that done make it happen fuck man there's no guarantee but fuck it for that uh, that's what the fuck's gotta get done and do what it do homie You know, but there are people that wake up who, when I see them from a distance, I can see them with their mad dog face. Fucking motherfucker. I don't trust that motherfucker. I hate that motherfucker. And uh, someone clouds their path like, hey, good morning, buddy. How are you? Oh my God, long time no see. How are you? Oh, that's good. I tell the kid to say hello. Oh, that's good. Hey, how are you? And, um, I don't know if you guys would, uh, would rather that I speak to you like that. Uh, I delete every video on my channel and just uh, turn them on. I'll still be the same person, right? But, 
I said I'll say, um, oh guys, welcome to my channel. I missed you guys. It's you guys are number one. And I and I act like that um, till my dying days. Would you guys want that or? Just spill the beans and just be who I am and hate it or love it, like or dislike the video, comment or whatever the fuck. I remember uh, one time seeing uh, a dude walk out of his apartment building and then seeing his girlfriend or baby mama or booty call, whatever, um, follow behind moments later and stay at the doorway of the building and look around the corner and, and just lurk, lurk. Thinking, who's, who's he talking to? What's he saying? Is he happy? Is he smiling? I thought, man, what a piece of shit, man. And that's the person that um, says, uh, or will give you that, uh, that look, hey, how are you? How's it going? And uh, people ask, well, why don't you say hi, good morning? Fuck that, man. You think I'm a... Be cool with someone like that? Fuck you. Someone like that is uh, waiting to uh, split a fucking axe in your fucking spine. No honor, man. No trust. Straight out all about me, 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 me. Again, I'm a selfish motherfucker, but I'm not gonna fuck it. Give you the straight up fuck you say, oh, hey, buddy, come here, how's it going? And, um, you know, I'll be plotting, um, as I'm hugging you, be plotting and, uh, imagining that you fall, fall for my agenda, from, you don't see my two face. And, uh, that, that shit goes out. That shit that works out my way. So yeah, so me sound like a fucking bitter, jaded motherfucker, but no, it, it's uh, it's things like this I'm more discussed in my past that uh, maybe <laughs> learn the lesson with a beautiful headache. And if if we could simply just um, be aware of them so that you fucking don't catch your dick in a hot waffle waffle iron and be like, oopsie, how did this happen? Because it, you're gonna feel that stupid. And like you put your tit on the hot waffle iron, on the hot waffle iron, press it down, and then lock the uh, waffle iron. I've never used the waffle iron, but I'm just imagining it has a lock in my version. And my battery's gonna die, so we'll end it here because this has been a great episode of philosophy. No excuses. Make it happen. Keep your body parts off. Hot waffle lions, motherfuckers. And have a nice day, yo. Everybody have a nice day. Thank you for watching.